Hell yeah, we are loaded into a team game. This time a 3v3. Hopefully my computer does not absolutely explode um, while, uh, while dealing with this. So uh, let's start off in this corner in uh, the bottom left-hand side of... Wait, I think it's Jungle Depths. It is the Terran player. The best Terran on NA. It is Felicity from Cutie Patooty. Along with her partner, also playing Terran, it is... TC and the third player on this team playing Zerg this one from team Neuro S it is myth hopeless and on the top right uh, right hand side of jungle depths let's look at the blue team here we've got S funk hell yeah we've got tuba 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 and we've got Tobias Funke. Wait a minute. <laughs> there's two Funks. I can't, what am I gonna? Okay, there's Tobias. There's um. There's Tuba and then well, oh, come on. There's Tuba and there's S Funk. All right. <laughs> All right. Looks like S Funk here is gonna be taking initiative here. I do believe. Wait. Does he even have a forge? No. This is just two gateways. And a random pylon right here. Does he actually know about the base, though? No, he actually doesn't. I think he... I don't know what he plans to do. Although, the... Th uh, wait, does... Is this even going to have vision of this when it finishes? I don't even think so. Um, okay, looks like Felicity is going to be taking double gas very, very fast. Probably going to be teching up quite fast. That factory going down as well. If we look at T... Uh, not TC. Myth Hopeless. Uh, just going for the... Uh, I think it's going to be very early link speed as well. And on the side of TC, he's going directly into that factory. So a lot of them going for that really fast one base play. Let's see what they do out of that. Tuba going for that insanely fast plus one upgrade for his infantry. Going to be really useful for his two marines that he has. While uh, Funka, Tobias, is uh, going to be going for a lot of barracks at this point as well. So what is, uh, what is Funk doing? Alright, well he's going double zealots. It's going to be for a lot of gateways. And I think pretty much everyone in this game is going to be staying on one base. So I think it's going to be a little bit scrappy for sure. Um, yeah, the pylon does not... Well, yeah, the pylon sees the hatchery now, but what can the pylon even do? Ooh, double plus one upgrade. So they're both getting a plus one. So plus one for Tuba and plus one for Tobias. And he forged coming down for Funk as well. Do you have any hidden bases? No, no, it's just overlords. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ooh, what is that? Hello? Is that like a flying jellyfish? Look at this smooth, smooth camera movement. I'm doing this manually. <gasps> Hell yeah. That kind of looks like a Metroid with like the goopy stuff on the top. Man. Ooh, that's pinging. They're pinging. Look. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just pressed back instead of V. <gasps> It's like, look, there's a base here. Hold on, it's just... <laughs> Go forward. I do believe he does ping eventually. Well, actually, no, he probably doesn't re-ping again. <sighs> Taking the gold base. Now, that's going to be a little bit ballsy there for sure. What is Felicity doing at this point? Felicity going into the factories, I believe. This is where... That's the point in the Discord call where she's just where she just goes like, ah, Guys, I'm going to make tanks. And that is all. End of the sentence right there. And that's her game plan for the rest of the game. So, actually, not even. She's going for the dreaded Cyclone build. She hates Cyclones. That's why she's going to make them. Finally, Myth going to be spotting this pylon. And uh, probably going to be dealing with that very soon, though. Oh, look at that. Two Zealots literally walking across the map. I do believe they can. two Zealots can possibly beat six Zerglings if they micro correctly. Oh, but look at that. I think uh, Myth Hopeless has just increased his numbers to eight. And uh, that's going to be good. Look at that. Actually going along the wall here, trying to get as the less amount, least amount of surface area as possible. And those Zots are definitely going to go down. Looks like the double plus one is going to be kicking in for the two blue Terrans. And uh, why, yeah, they're doing a huge marine timing with plus one. Are they going to have what they need, though? Looks like the bailing, bailing nest is not quite done. And cyclones aren't going to be great, especially when they're not being produced <laughs> at all. And uh, actually, two widow mines out of TC. The widow mines could actually do some really good damage. Look at that. If he just walks up here in a straight line, I think it's going to be better almost than if he would walk uh, up here um, just normally. Oh, my God. Now, that's boom if I've ever seen one. 
Very, very nice. They're going to see all these Marines with plus one, no stim, and they're just going to walk over them quite easily. What is this, though? Oh, my God. Was that a warping of, Ze of Zealots? I think that was a slow warping of Zealots. And now they're kind of split between defending the front but also defending uh, Myth Hopeless's base. Looks like Bane is going to be taking care of that, but now there's no Bane to the front. However, there is still a lot of Widow Mines. going to be pr maybe picking them up or burrowing them. I mean, you can probably burrow them, dude. No, he's going to decide to uh, pick them up. Only it picks up three right there. Finally taking care of that pylon. And now these Cyclones, the Felicity Cyclones, doing some heavy lifting on all of these uh, Zealots, which can allow these uh, Zerglings to pounce on their opponent. And they just keep rallying across the map. But that Baneling did a huge shot right there. And, I mean, this is going to be the end of the push. The wind is completely knocked out of the sails out of these two blue Terrans. And uh, I think they're going to be waiting for that armor upgrade to do finally the plus one armor upgrade no stim no combat shield timing in 2v2s i mean in 3v3s that we see so often and i'm uh, behind this s1 going for blink as well and the factors are finally coming down for our terran players and uh ooh, nice wrap around here by the zerg player and he's just literally warping the bane links in their face does not give a heck and uh I, he, I, this is almost a flex at this point but no, he does know that he does uh, have to c cancel them eventually. Is he actually going to be able to cancel this natural base? So far, this has been kind of a scrappy game in the sense that uh, it's been just low eco so far. And the Banelink's doing some nice connections so far, taking care of those Marines. And now these Zerglings are going to be easily taking care of uh, those Stalkers, literally warping <laughs> again. The Banelink's in their face. Finally, the uh, the Widowmines are coming in here. I do believe that Widowmine drop is going to try and go for the economy now. And the Felicity Cyclones walking in here, target firing all of these, uh, sorry, locking on to all of these Marines. And I think they're all dead now. These Widow Mines, though, do need Sporo. Are they going to get enough SCVs? I do believe so. And that is boom right there. Excellent. And the Felicity Cyclones are still here, still doing damage. She, I don't think she's lost one so far. And they're going to press their advantage right now. Bases have gone down for pretty much every single player, but their opponents are all stuck on one base. Still not losing the Cyclones, carding back like an absolute goddess. And now these links are just going to take care of the entire economy. Man, he's trying to make it work with the Stalkers, but there's not enough production out of the Terran players. And... Uh, this uh, bottom uh, South Terran player is pretty much done for at this point. Cyclones being really close to dying, though. And finally, the first one going down. The Widomans are here as well, though, trying to mule and mine a little bit. But, I mean, this Terran player is pretty much done. They do have the Zealots. They do have Marines and some Hallions, so they might be able to actually deal with this in the end. But three more, four more Cyclones are here. I think more Cyclones coming across the map as well as more, as well as more Widomines. And this combination of Cyclone... Um, Ling and uh, Widowmine is proving quite effective against their opponent right now. Do they have the defenses necessary to actually hold this? Looks like no. I do believe S-Funk is uh, not even full saturation on his main. Neither is uh, Tuba Tuba. So uh, I think there's quite the skill difference here. And finally, Tobias is leaving that game. Walking forward, locking onto those Marines with the Cyclones. And this is going to be another huge Widowmine shot. Man, all those Marines dying again. It looks like they don't even know the principle of a move. They, I think they tried to right-click on those Cyclones, but that didn't quite work. And uh, now he's going to be dropping the Widowmites inside their main. And that's going to be even more dead SVs. Although they are on cooldown, though. It looks like on the left side, the, uh, the Zerglings are wrapping around those Stalkers. I do believe this is going to be over very, very soon. Hidden base here out of Myth Hopeless, just in case. Just getting a backup plan. That's another Baneling here. Doesn't have a plus two, but I mean, that's good enough for me in terms of explosions. And uh, I do believe that I th looks like, uh, yeah, Esfung was the last one standing, and that's going to be GG. And Team Cutie Patootie plus Myth is going to be the winner.